Welcome back to episode number two with me, Asad. I said I'm going to make one video every day for the next 20 minutes. Uh, there are several reasons why I make these videos. One is to improve my um, my self-confidence because I was growing up. It was very difficult for me to go and speak to people, uh, to put myself forward uh, out there to, to, to talk to people. Um, so this is the reason I'm trying to practice my confidence in front of talking in front of people because I remember the first time I made a video, I was like, oh, like I was shy, I was like, no confidence. Anyway, so this is just to try to expand my comfort zone just to improve my confidence and just basically put myself out there and, and you know don't really care about what people say in terms of in terms of judgment this is just a target for myself to put to make one video for the next 20 uh, and if you have something that you've been afraid to afraid of like doing and prevent you from moving forward then obviously and there might be something that you want to do as well but for me is making one video for the next 20 minutes you know i want to see my make, making mistakes because you know five years, 10 years down the line, looking back to these videos, I'm like, oh my God, I'm embarrassed by making these videos, okay? So anyway, so in this episode, episode number two, I'm going to talk about the 10 evident best health benefits of intermediate fasting, okay? So as you know, this is the month of Ramadan for Muslims where they fast from dawn to until the sunset uh, for one month. So Intermediate fasting is a cycle between periods of eating and fasting, okay? There are many different types of intermediate fasting, such as, for example, the 16-8 rules or the 5-2 method, okay? And there are some other methods that I'm not going to mention in this video just because of the limited time that I have. Uh, however, numerous studies show that it can have powerful benefits for your body and for your brain, okay? Here are the 10 evidence-based health benefits of intermediate fasting. So, let's get started. Benefit number one, intermediate fasting changes the function of cells, genes and hormones, okay? When we don't eat for a while, several things happen in our body, okay? For example, our body initiates important cellular repair process and changes hormone levels to make stored body fat more accessible, okay? And here are some of the changes that occur in our body during fasting. Insulin levels, it affects our insulin levels, okay? blood levels of insulin drops significantly which facilitates fat burning human growth hormone it affects our human growth hormone okay the body uh, levels of growth hormone may increase as much as fivefold according to one study in 2018 higher levels of this hormone facilitates fat burning and muscle gain and have numerous other benefits again i'm not going to mention in this video because of the uh, limited time it affects our cellular repair okay the body increases important cellular repair process such as removing waste materials from our body you know if you if you look up if, if you research uh, every minute we lose about millions of cells in our bodies millions of cells die in our body and obviously we you know the body produces millions of other cells to replace those cells that have died okay so uh, one of the benefits of intermediate fasting is obviously it removes those cells that died in our body and replace them and get rid of the waste product it affects our gene expression okay there are beneficial changes in several genes and molecules related to longevity and protection against the diseases especially at this time of the year where is, is, is pandemic like the effect of coronavirus and and other illness and okay so many things going on oxidative stress and you know um obviously like intermediate fasting helps you prevent against those diseases okay so the bottom line of the fast benefit is when we fast insulin levels drops and human growth uh, hormones increases your cells also initiates important cellular repair process Benefit number two, intermittent fasting help you lose weight and belly fat. Many of those who try intermittent fasting are doing it in order to purely to lose weight. Um, but there are uh, obviously like in, if you're uh, a Muslim for in, from an Islamic perspective, it's, it's, it's been prescribed upon you for you know, over 1400 years ago. Um, so we have to fast one month every year. It's called the month of Ramadan. Where you, as I said, where you fast from dawn to to until the sunset. Okay, and generally speaking, intermediate fasting will help you eat fewer meals. Okay, that's that's go that goes without <laughs> without saying, unless you are uh, unless you compensate uh, by eating much more during um during the other meals, you will end up taking fewer calories by eating less meals. Okay, 
Uh, in addition to that, intermittent fasting enhances hormone functions to facilitate weight loss. Okay, lower insulin levels, higher growth hormone levels, and increased amount of uh, norepinephrine. Um, it all increases the breakdown of the body fat and facilitates it is used for energy. Okay. Uh, for this reason, short-term fasting actually increases your metabolic rate by up to 14%, which helps you burn more, even more fat and more calories, okay? Um, so according to a study in 2014, review of the scientific literature, intermittent fasting can cause weight loss up to 8%, okay, over 3 to 24 weeks. Uh, obviously, this is a huge, huge amount of uh, weight loss if you are, for example, suffering from obesity or suffering from overweight, or if you like, for example, just want to uh, have those benefits of these benefits of fasting. Uh, the people also uh, lose uh, up to to seven percent of their body uh, uh, circumferences, which indicates that they lose lots of um, belly fat. Okay, especially in men, where uh, we restore most of the uh, fat in, in in our belly. Okay. Um, the harm of the harmful fat in abdominal uh, cavity that causes diseases. Okay, we, we obviously we know that, 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 that obesity and overweight causes so many health uh, uh, problems and, and and issues. Okay, so again, just to summarize the benefit of number two, intermittent fasting helps you eat fewer calories while boosting metabolic slightly. It is very effective tool to lose weight and especially belly fat. Okay, so moving on. Uh, benefit number three, intermittent fasting can reduce insulin resistance, lowering your risk of type 2 diabetes, okay? Type 2 diabetes has become incredibly common in recent decades, okay? Its main feature is high blood sugar levels and in the context of insulin resistance, um, anything that reduces insulin resistance should help lower blood sugar levels and protect against type 2 diabetes, okay? Interestingly though, intermittent fasting has been shown to have major benefits of insulin resistance um, and lead to impressive reduction of blood sugar levels, okay? In human studies, um, I say human studies because some of these studies uh, are done on animals like rat, uh, but obviously some of them are done on human as well. Um, one study in diabetic uh, rat also showed that intermittent fasting protect against kidney damage, okay? One of the most severe complications of, uh, of diabetes is it affects your kidney. Um, so your kidney does not function properly. What this implies basically is that intermittent fasting may uh, be highly protective for people who are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So the bottom line of benefit of number three is intermittent fasting can reduce insulin resistance and lower blood sugar levels. Okay, so moving on, benefit number four. Intermittent fasting can reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Okay, oxidative stress um, is one of the steps towards aging and many chronic diseases. It involves um, unstable uh, molecules called free radicals, okay, which react when other important molecules uh, like protein and uh, DNA and, and damage them. Okay, several studies also have shown. Um, that intermediate fasting may enhance the body's resistance uh, to oxidative stress. Accordingly, studies show that in intermediate fasting can help fight inflammation. So basically, the bottom line is that studies show that intermediate fasting can reduce oxidative damage and inflammation in the body. This should have benefits against aging and development of neuro, uh, numerous diseases. Okay, so moving on. Benefit number five, intermittent fasting may be beneficial for your health. Uh, okay, this goes without saying. Okay, heart disease is currently the world's biggest killer uh, in our today's world. Okay, intermittent fasting has been shown to improve numerous different risk factors, including blood pressure. Um, so basically, the bottom line of number five is that studies show that intermittent fasting can improve numerous risk factors of heart disease, such as blood pressure, cholesterol levels. It health benefit number six, intermittent fasting reduces various cellular repair process. When we fast, the cells in our body initiates a cellular waste removal, okay, a process called um, autophagy. Uh, autophagy involves the cells breaking down um, and metabolizing broken the um, dysfunctional uh, proteins that build up inside cells over time, okay? Increased autophagy may provide protection against several diseases, including cancer and uh, Alzheimer's diseases, okay? So, 
Uh, basically, fasting triggers a metabolic pathway called autophagy, which removes waste and materials from the cells, okay? Benefit number seven, intermittent fasting may help prevent cancer. Yes, cancer is a terrible disease, obviously we know, characterized by uncontrolled growth of cells. Fasting has been shown to have several beneficial uh, effects on metabolism that uh, may lead to redu reduced risk of cancer. Although humans are needed, uh, promising evidence from animal studies indicates that intermediate fasting may help prevent cancer. Okay, There are also some evidence on human cancer patients showing that fasting reduces various side effects of uh, chemotherapy. So basically, um, to summarize the benefit of number seven, the bottom line is that intermediate fasting has been shown to help prevent cancer in animal studies. Uh, one paper in human showed that it can reduce side effects caused by chemotherapy, which is a cancer treatment. Intermediate fasting is good for your brain. This is the health benefit number eight, okay? What is good for your brain is typically good for your body. We may have had this phrase um, uh, several times. Intermediate fasting improves various metabolic features known to improve the brain health, okay? This includes reduced oxidative stress, reduced inflammation, and re uh, reduction in the blood sugar levels and insulin resistance. Several studies have also shown that in rats, fasting may increase the growth of new nerve cells, okay, which should have benefits for brain functions. Okay. It also increases levels of brain hormones called brain-drive neurotrophic factor, which I mentioned in one of my videos yesterday, it's also known as BDNF. Okay, brain drive neurotrophic factor, okay, uh, which is a sort of like protein in the brain, a deficiency of which has been implicated in depression and various other brain problems, okay. Animal studies have also shown that intermediate fasting protects against brain damage due to stroke, okay. So the bottom line again is for the benefit of number eight, intermediate fasting may help important benefits uh, for brain health, it may increase growth for new, new neurons and protect the brain from damage. Okay, so moving on. Benefit number nine. Intermittent fasting may help prevent Alzheimer's disease. Okay, Alzheimer's disease is the world's most common uh, neurodegenerative disease which affects the nerve cells. It basically affects your brain, the way the brain functions, okay? Unfortunately, there is no uh, a cure available as of yet for Alzheimer's, so preventing it uh, from showing up in the first place is crucial, which intermittent fasting is, uh, is believed to prevent Alzheimer's diseases, and Parkinson's and Huntington's disease and, and whatnot, okay? Which again, I'm not going to, uh, to explain what these diseases are because of the uh, time restriction. So basically the bottom line is that studies in animals suggest that intermittent fasting may be protective against neurodegenerative uh, diseases like Alzheimer's and Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and Huntington's and, and some others, okay? And lastly, benefit number 10, intermittent fasting may extend your lifespan, helping you live longer, basically. Intermittent fasting has become very popular among anti-aging crowd in the world. So... There we have it, the 10 benefits of intermediate fasting on our body. Okay. I hope you guys find this video helpful and beneficial. If you think some of your friends can benefit from watching this video, this meant by all means, go share it on your social media platform, share it, like it, comment it, whatnot. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys like this video. And until next time, my friends, take care.